Welcome back on top of the Good Morning Niger Show. And it's been a Friday, and of course, you know, see every Friday, now Entertainment Friday, we just did interview people, popular people, young people, to waiting for the industry. And today, it could be any difference. We get one person from inside the studio today with us, and then uh, Narigate teams this Friday. I will speak small part to her, but um, some other time, you understand? Uh -huh. So, um, of course, she'd be um, daughter to one very popular reggae artist. We've been rock the airways um, for 80s and, of course, late 90s too. And then she did with us inside the studio. And, of course, we came with to contribute our story. Yes, our guest is Friday Funky Reggae Friday Morning. Now, Oge Kimono. Mm -hmm. Now, my mother tell us say now uh, that she'd be daughter of one person wearing rock. The airwaves in the 80s and even the 90s. I will not play so videos plenty of times for our show. Now, if you want to know who her papa be, watch these videos I want to show you now. Stop that breakdown, man, and hold it. Nigeria under pressure. pressure. All right, on the fr Friday morning show this morning, we get Oge Kimono, the doctor of Raski Mono. Yeah, yeah, do it. Maybe we're enough things now. Mm. Uh -huh. like things. This interest Oge Kimono in the building. <laughs> what you bring, yes, what, what you bring for us, Miss Oge Kimono? Well, we come with enough positive vibe and mm. thing. You know, so we're comfy, mash up the place and make it like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thing, you know? <laughs> do you feel you know? the fire yet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Thank you the so good much. Good morning, Niger Show. Yes, sir. So now the first thing that one we introduced you say our friend to you as the daughter of. Ras you know, kimono. Ras kimono. <laughs> yes. But you be oge kimono. Yes, sir. Ras kimono na your papa. Exactly. Be your own person. Thank you. So we could meet ah, you. Yes, oge sir. kimono. So tell us about oge kimono. Well, oge kimono is the first offspring of the legendary Ras kimono. Mm. You know. And so the I, first became. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number one. Number one. <laughs> yes, sir. And um, I'm also a reggae musician. You know. And um, yeah, what more can I say? Reggae musician, entrepreneur. Okay. To a about, bit of uh, activism and okay. How about education? Yes, I I um I graduated from the University of Abuja, I studied economics. Economics, mm. oh cool. So you know you decide to do reggae music, your dad do reggae music. You get any, you know, well, it make you now because say, your dad do reggae music. Not be because say, my dad do reggae music, make me to do reggae music, you understand? Um music found me. Actually reggae music found me. Okay. Being that I, I didn't grow up with my dad. I know follow my papa grew up and my grandmama trained mm. me okay. and uh, for Abba I grew up. Okay. So, so you come from Abia State? I'm not from Abia State. I grew for Abba. So where you come where from? from? <laughs> We're Nigerians. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to ask the states. What part of Nigeria? We're Nigerians. 
Okay, so go. In respect to Rask Mona. <laughs> <laughs> so how growing up looks like? Because you don't mention I was okay, um, you grew up for Growing up was Abba. growing up was fun. Growing up was fun. I, I had everything as a kid. My grandmother, she did a great job. My okay. papa and my mama, they, they they were always on the move, you know. Mm -hmm. So I had that semblance of a family having your mother and your father, which was my grandmother and my granddad, you know. Okay. So I had a beautiful childhood. And my parents then they make up for the time where they know they're around, they buy mm -hmm. enough toys. Mm -hmm. So we'll play away. <laughs> play away. I will play away. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, at what point you decide to say now nah, reggae music you want to now nah, music first and then why you could decide reggae? Well, um, I had a one on one connection with reggae music at about age fifteen. That now uh, the time where I just finished secondary school, you know. And um, that was because I had started okay, my papa sent me some things in school. He sent me a walkman, you know, and his cassettes. So every morning, I, I would play the cassette and I would listen. And I was like, this reggae music, where they don't they sing since the way they tempo, they slow. Person not even fit dance because mm. me, I be ba ba ti ba. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> <laughs> so I started listening more to the lyrics. I started listening more. And I'm like, okay, this is a sense that they talk for here. Mm. Okay, okay. Reggae, no bad like that, you know. And then I started getting into it. And um, I've always liked music as a kid. I've okay. always liked music. I've always seen myself as an entertainer because when I did grow with my grandmother, if her friends come visit her, and so she go carry me, put to a center. Yeah, so yeah I've everybody. <laughs> I'm saying, I go dance. Now maybe yes, yeah. <laughs> free show, free show. They all of them supposed to pay me now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I knew that eventually I was very young age. Yes, if you finish your basic education, uh, hey, that it time you don't go, you don't come get this more hair. If you decide, say, okay, this now waiting, I want to do and all of that. Yes. All right. So um, after your secondary school, you've been leaving Nigeria for Germany. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, I personally, I know sure say reggae music for Germany, they are accepted as a day for Nigeria here. Reggae music is bigger in Europe. Oh, okay. It's very so, what did make you decide to even go Germany? What did the whole Germany? What did bring the whole Germany? Process? No, well, um, my papa been get. A German tour. He had a music tour. Okay. So we all went together to Germany and okay. I was I was his backup vocalist at that time. Oh. You know, I worked with him, yes. And then after the gig now I tell I say, boss, <laughs> now here my sheep suffer. <laughs> I want to see as grand view. Mm. Uh, my hustle for myself, man, see whether I go feel survive without you because everybody would now they think say because he be asking me not to do anything. <laughs> I beg me chance. Beg you chance. So you, like, you get the support from both parents. Well, yes, of course. At first, like every other parent, he, he kicked against me staying back in Europe and not going to school instead. You know, but I just told him. I said, you know what? I mean, school not they run now. Eventually, mm. I will still go to school. So how, how long did you stay for Germany? I stayed about six, seven years in six, Germany. Six, seven years yes. in Germany. Yes. So when you, when, when you say come back home? 2010. So at that 2010, you say, I need to go back home, go do my thing. Yes, sir. What's it make you decide I want? Well, I thought um, living in Europe, it gets one reggae music where they, where they say you can't stay in a white man country for too long. Mm. You understand? Mm. You know so, if you stay for a white man country for, for too, too long. too long. Uh -huh. So when you don't stay there, you don't see things. You don't see the good side, the bad side, living there. Going as a visitor, you don't see all of that. But when you live there, you see the ills and the goods of the society, you know, and you decide for yourself if you can continue with this or, or go if, back you can home. Go, if you want to go back home, you know. And I mean, me living in Nigeria, not beside they suffer, and they make me go to Europe. I don't go seek greener pastures. I just go seek exposure. Well, I was experience. I was a young person. I wanted to explore the world, you know, and that was what I did. And I felt like it was okay. I, I've had enough exposure for now. So make I come back house, go impact my people with so what I don't like. Ten. Ten. Mm. You can come back to Nigeria. Yes, sir. So um, education and music, mm. how you carry um, balance them? It was tough. It was tough. But luckily, I, I, um, I was doing part-time studies with University of Abuja. So okay. Okay. I still had time to run the music, do school, still do business on the side. At a point, mm. I opened a restaurant, and I'm a like, restaurant oh, okay. in Akwaibom State. So I was doing Abuja, which is school, okay. Lagos, which is music, and Akwaibom, which is business. You know? Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. We shuttle around Nigeria like that. <laughs> so we'll come back, we'll come back to music now. Uh, For Nigeria now, most of the songs when they involve, we, uh, involve, we get hip hop. Mm. Yeah, then we get uh, Afro hip hop, mm. we get R and B songs mm. when Nigerians don't really accept. Mm. Or like back in the day, the days of Raskimono, mm. when we raised supreme places like Lagos mm. in the eighties and nineties with the reggae. Mm. How you rate reggae music now? 
And you think, say, if he come back the way it be before? Yes, it gradually come back the way it's supposed to be. Why you go rate him now first? Well, I would rate it on a scale of one to ten. I would rate it a five because for Nigeria. Yes, because um, a lot of people don't they put efforts. We have a lot of uh, reggae musicians that are doing their own. Um, Everybody's putting in their personal efforts into it, you know, to bring reggae back to where it belongs. Like, person like myself, I get one, I get reggae dance why they keep every Thursday for Abuja, for oh, one club okay. for Abuja, every Thursday. So it's now a culture in Abuja. You know, say, when you want to hear reggae music, you know where to go every Thursday to go mm. listen to reggae music. You get another one of my brother, where they do for Lagos every Tuesday. You when the brother, your blood my, brother? No, from, from when, I say, no. when I say brother, I mean my reggae okay. brother, okay. <laughs> my Rasta brethren. Okay. <laughs> Calm down, my youth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in they do every Tuesday for Lagos. And then we, we have we have people that do here in Port Harcourt as well. Every last Saturday they, they do for Jackie's Grill, they, they, different places, yeah, you know. Yeah. So like, uh, it's, it, when you go to different states, you see that there are different reggae people doing stuff, you know. And this is bringing, it is bringing the vibe, you know, gradually So with back. a lot of work and awareness. Yes. And, you know, consistency. Yes. Consistency is the key word. Mm. Consistency, consistency is the key word. All right. Um, from way back, when people hear reggae music, mm. you can always imagine one guy, we get dread. Mm. They speak, da -da, hey. Yeah, they speak mm. English, pidgin English, patois, mm. like the one we don't, they give mm. us small, small vibes now. <laughs> so, but for you now, we be female reggae mm. artist. Um, how, so far, how you rate your, your as in female for the industry, mm. for that genre of music, mm. basically? Well, basically, it's, it's um, being a female in the industry is a tough thing, you mm. know, because it, the industry is basically male-dominated. Now, mm. man, them, now you fool mm. industry. So, for you to be woman with the industry, you got to get hot. You know, you got to get my mm. you know, heart with them, you know, <laughs> <laughs> talk a mouth. <laughs> That's the way you both talk, what a man can do. Man no man can, can do, do it better. Be uh. Oh, better, oh, better. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at this point in time, we go play one of your videos. Yes. Make we see Oge work this morning. <laughs> and then when we come back, we will open the phone line. So if you call us to check much for our conversation and talk to Oge Kimono. Let me see Oge video now. Bless. This is a Jesus production. You've got to recognize who you're listening to. All right, welcome back. And of course, now we'll go from the phone line so that you go feed. Took your mouth food for the conversation. And don't forget to call now, free of charge. You don't need to pay any money at all at all. And the phone number is the show for your screen now. And you obviously, you watch us online if you're supposed to drop your comments for our Facebook platform for www.facebook.com forward slash Fazubia Max PH. And of course, we're still there with Oge Kimono with us for inside the studio. All right, so um, now tell us some of your plans for reggae music for inside Nigeria. Of course, you don't talk about the um, every Thursday night yes. group where you do for Abuja. Mm. But besides that, which other plans will you get for reggae for Nigeria? Well, and then how, uh, how your own brand is different from other reggae artists? Yes, sir. Well, currently, I am working on an album, which okay. is going to be my debut album. And okay. uh, waiting at the talk for the album, the message we did the album, and the message of love, 
you know, universal love, uh, man and woman love, uh, brotherly love, sisterly love, uh, every type of love, you know, because mm. um, I believe that love is not the only thing we will go for use, conquer the hatred and mm. the pour away the, the world True. right now, True. you know, and you can never stop preaching the message of love, you know, and um, this is where Oge Kimono stands out, you okay. know, this is what makes me different the from ESI. From, um, well, I, I know most reggae artists, they, they do the love thing, mm. you know, but in Nigeria, this is my nature. Mm. This is where mm. I am different from the rest, you know. All right, so right now, you're there for Port Harcourt. We're mm. talking about Nigeria generally now. What do you bring you come PH? Nah, the, what do you carry me come PH? You know, the Matawe, the on ground, which mm. we say now the album, you okay. know. And aside from that, too, you get one show where they happen this weekend, where they, they call Port Harcourt Entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah, when they happen every Night. first, every, every first, first Saturday, uh, Saturday of, the, of the, month. the month. But then, more thing, uh, what do you think about, you know, the industry for Port Harcourt? Um, the reggae scene, I can talk about the reggae scene. They get strong reggae scene for Portacot, and I'm really, really um, proud of that, you know. Uh, whenever you have a reggae thingy, you see people come out in good number to support the movement, which gives me joy, you know. Uh, for the other genre of music, I believe I believe they also have a good crowd yeah, as well yeah. because by Portacot in a bubbling place, Portacot in a place where they say if you enter no dolly yes, moment, yes, you sir. understand? Talking yes, about no dolly yeah. moment. So tomorrow live. Ah, at live the band. Port Harcourt, say, yo, make one mash it up, make one lick it up, eh? make one dash it up. I won't ask you to know. respect for me. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us more. What did you expect? Well, expect nothing but the best, the best mm. of entertainment. Finesse. So you know, tomorrow yeah. now, na, na reggae edition. Yes, from sir. Yeah. So everybody yes, will come there, come perform, go do reggae. reggae yes, sir. So everybody will love reggae tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow is the day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah then, no. Right, Even so if you don't love reggae, you just need to come and see Find a reason. Find a reason. To reason reggae. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Find a reason to reason yeah, reggae. Yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw the tingle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so we'll take our first caller, uh, Francis. Good morning, Francis. Welcome on top of the Good Morning Niger Show. Hello, Francis. Good morning. Welcome. Yeah, good morning. You're welcome. Good morning, Maya. Good morning, uh, okay, Mr. Good morning. How are you this morning now? Good, good morning, Mr. Francis. <laughs> Yes, so I agree. So, uh, I, I just want to appreciate the guest really for sitting so here. Bless you. I want to ask him if she keeps doing what she is doing, the Bless music her. and uh, so on. But I want to ask her one simple question. Yes. As her name is going to be Oge Kimono, if she come married, she go change them. Hmm. Because the Kimono is her proper name. So, just a simple question I want to ask her. All right, Francis. Thank you. Thank you, Francis. You know, say musician, they get stage name and real name. Mm. So my stage name can never change. Oge Kimono has come to stay. But mm. when I marry, of course, official documents, Oge Kimono. Once you want to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I'll be very simple. <laughs> All right. So um, how do you support on be like since? Um, I mean, support from people, especially from your father and mm. the people generally, mm. how, how you say they accept your music? You see, like this, my brother, we call now, now the kind of support why they get. And mm. I'm always grateful to God every time somebody calls and prays for me. You know, mm. it, it's, it's the support, you know, gas, they, you know, gas the monetary support before you know, say, person, they support you. Now, all these prayers, you know, uh, encouragement, now, even all the support. Because people, they are aware of the work when you exactly. do. Exactly. And I really, really appreciate everybody out there who has one way or the other supported the Oge Kimono brand. And I just want to tell them, I say, Ja bless or no, mm. real good. Ja bless India or say, no. Namaste. I don't learn you German one. say, no. Uh, danke schön. Mm. Well, <laughs> danke schön. Me. Thank you. So, namaste too. Like, thank you. Yes. Mm. Namaste. All right, so, um, who be your role model for the industry? I suppose it's supposed to be your father. Well, of course, he's one of them. Mm -hmm. Look at your biggest them. influence, you call? Uh, big, biggest influence, obviously, Naeem. Not through am I entered the mu reggae music thing, you know, but um, I would I would definitely, definitely Bob Marley, too, is an Bob influence Marley. because yeah. I listen to a lot of Bob Marley. I like this you know. reggae thing tomorrow. Uh -huh. all, all the rest now, of Bob in tribute to Bob Marley. We'll get you a know. call on the exactly. line. Emmanuel from Bob Marley. Emmanuel, good morning this morning. Yeah, good morning. Welcome. Yeah. Good to see you here, people now. Yeah, good to hear from you too. Yeah, it's my first time calling you. Oh, wow. welcome. Where are you this since? <laughs> <laughs> welcome, Mr. Emmanuel. I'm sorry. All right, welcome. Yeah, yeah this long I enjoy their music. Mm. 
So the way they are doing it now, I enjoy it more. And my sister showing on the screen is the one that is even motivating me to enjoy the music now. Awesome. Mm. All right, Emmanuel, thank All right, you. Thank you. Bless up. So Emmanuel say you they motivate and to enjoy reggae, reggae music, music more, more than I am, enjoy. I am fire. happy to hear that. Yeah, so I am Emmanuel. so happy to hear All that. Right. <laughs> so thank you. How is it? Okay, namaste. 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 Right. Yeah. And the are waiting. Give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks, Iman. Like, <laughs> for, for younger people, we uh, want to the industry. We already yeah. did the industry, and they never get the kind of breakouts where you don't get so mm. far. But it's going be some of like three things where you could tell them, say, okay, do this, do this, do this. Keep, um, pray. Now, what thing are they doing? Pray, number one, pray. Believe in Jah, number mm. one. Two, keep working. Don't ever stop. Don't ever get comfortable at where you are. Don't ever stop bettering yourself. Don't ever stop working. Number three, stay true to yourself. Stay true to stay yourself. Stay true to yourself. All right, we get our last call out of the show this morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome. Uche. From Rumi Preco. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, yeah well, Uche, good morning. Um, happy to see you. Okay, good morning. Blessed love. Good morning, my brother. Um, with your ask, you see, I'm in the venue of the PH Entertainment Night. Okay. I would like to see you live. Now, now so clowns All right, for just the, GRA. Just the watch we'll mention we'll drop we'll we'll give you all the details. All the details. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Yeah. All right, thank all right. Give so, thanks. Give God bless. bless. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> so <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow evening uh, yes, for um, So Clowns from mm -hmm. about 7, 8 p.m. Yes, sir. Uh, Oge Kimono alongside other reggae artists will show face. Uh, for um, So Clowns tomorrow to show That's love right. to everybody. So if you want to So So Clowns for GRA. Yeah, for yeah. GRA. And uh, this podcast called Entertainment Night. They happen every first uh, Saturday, Saturday of, of the, month. the month. And this month of May, now for Reggae. Yes, you sir. don't want to miss it because <laughs> I do day the live. Oge Kumuno will be live there. Mayawa will be there. Yeah. What else do you want? I could do small rig. Okay, no, no worries. No, no. I'm just that into it. So you will drop some. You Mayo, know. I don't worry, you're going to be my backup. Oh. 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 Yeah, Kiko. Say, 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 they start new career. Well, you drop some lines for us before we let you go this morning. Hey, on the show. May say, running a rat race in the dark is a big sickness. Mm. Blacks don't trust blacks and no white have them weakness. The world is going one blind while we go about our business with swiftness. Right. Why hatred is our existence? Fear in the day and night time, people are sleepless. Murderers on the pro, all oh, just them not spend no weakness. Some live a dirty life and tricky, we are not what neatness. <laughs> we need a turn around for in the sequence. Yeah. Love is light, love is light. Love is light. Love is so, light. Yeah. I don't I want, go around. This song will go perform tomorrow, so I will start to realize. Yeah, right. no, you will well, do it. I just gave you guys a freestyle from the upcoming album. Oh, yeah. what you just say And I like that line. You say the world they go about their business. Yeah. Why the world they Why go hate blind. Why hate stretches our existence. You know, so love is light. Yes, Thank sir. you, Oge, for gracing our couch Bless this morning. Mm. Bless I will wrap love. up the show today <laughs> on this note. But we'll come again next week from 8, uh, 8 o'clock, which is 9.30, right? On yep. Monday with a good morning night, Joshua. Don't forget, say tomorrow, my Owa will be back up saying that to Oge Kumono for the Potakot Entertainment Night. My name is <laughs> Oke Mute. So now, bye-bye. All right, if everybody will join us this morning, we say thank you. So all our callers, we say thank you. See you now tomorrow for Potakot Entertainment Night. God bless, no, Ja bless or no. Ja bless or no. Get that, man. Boom. Boom. What's it? Keep the fire burning, Ja. Huh? <laughs>